Hi everybody. Happy Friday. It's feel good Friday. So glad that it is finally Friday. <laughs> Can we call it finally Friday? Finally feel good Friday. Might be a little bit too much, but <laughs> that's how I feel. Finally, finally feel good Friday. <laughs> I hope you've had a good week so far. We've just got a few hours left until the official weekend. I hope that um, you've got some plans that are nice for the weekend, right? I'm looking forward to uh, a busy day tomorrow, actually. I have a Michaels class tomorrow at 2 p.m., so if you've not signed up for that and you would like to participate, please do so. I also have a class over on Sam's Speed Shop at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. So I've got two classes tomorrow and in between there, I don't know, maybe I'll catch a nap, maybe not. <laughs> I know that when I have staggered classes like that, it's, it's usually hard for me to kind of decompress in between there. So chances are I'll probably not take a nap in between there. But if you want to come and join to both of those, that's what is on my schedule for Saturday. It's going to be a busy day. It's going to be a fun one, though, and I'm really looking forward to it. The, the projects for both classes are going to be awesome. So definitely want to come and check those out if you need a little inspiration for the weekend. But to get you started on your weekend inspiration, I have, Cindy says, shh, I'm at work. We won't tell on you. We will, we'll keep your secret. <laughs> um, so to give you some inspiration to get you started on the weekend, it's Feel Good Friday. And for those of you who are unfamiliar with Feel Good Friday and don't know what Feel Good Friday is all about, it is our instant gratification jewelry, easy to recreate, that you can purchase in my Etsy shop, or you can use things from your own stash to recreate them, which also makes me the worst salesperson in the history of the world. <laughs> because if you think about it, like, I want you to buy my kits, but I'm also giving you a free pass to use your own beads. I really just want to give you some inspiration, and if you feel like picking up the kits in my Etsy shop, of course, your purchases are always very, very much appreciated. So there you go. There you go. So before we dive into those kits, and I've got several to show you, I want to just give you guys a quick reminder that next week I will be taking vacation for the entire week. So I will not be here for any of the regular scheduled lives for next week. I have my niece in from out of town. I have not seen her since the Christmas before COVID. So it is long overdue. She's grown probably a foot and I am looking forward to spending some time with her and uh, for our, me and the kids to kind of get out of the house and do some things. It's hard when I work every single day in their home for summer vacation because uh, we don't we don't really get a lot of opportunity to get out and do some things. So I'm looking forward to that. I will miss you guys very, very much, but I will be back. So don't um, don't think I've gone for good. Just taking a quick little break. Uh, let's see, something else. So even though I will be gone next week, I will still be here for uh, Saturday over on Sam's Beach Shop. So I'm doing the next four Saturdays. Those classes are at 6 p.m. Eastern Time for the next four Saturdays, Sam's Beach Shop. So even though I'll be gone for the week and I won't be doing my le regular lives, Sam's Beach Shop classes were already, um, we're already scheduled. <laughs> Sorry, I was looking at a comment. Um, let's see here. There was a question that went by. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Cindy says, I saw rings in your Etsy, Etsy shop. Are you going to make some? I made those last Friday. If you want to catch the replay, that was what we did last week for our, um, our Feel Good Friday show. So you can always catch the replay of that over on YouTube. And that's a great segue. If you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so. It's a great place to watch replays of all of our Facebook lives. And it just seems like the controls are a little bit easier there if you want to fast forward or, you know, rewind, or stop, pause, whatever you need to do. So, yeah. All right. So I've gotten all the announcements out of the way. Let's get down to business for today. So I've got... 
three necklaces. I'm only going to show you two of them. One of them is pretty straightforward. And honestly, they're all three pretty straightforward. In fact, one of the necklace designs is one that we do a lot. It's one of my favorite styles and it makes a great kit. And excuse me, I know you guys always like it. So when I just change it up a little bit, it, it makes it new and fresh again. So I've got three, or I'm sorry, three necklaces and I've got three different earring designs, but they're all the same. I'm gonna show you all of them. We're just gonna put together one, but they're gorgeous. So looking forward to that. Um, what shall we do first? Should we do earrings first? I think that's what we'll do. Let's get down to business. All right, my friends, I'm gonna turn you around here, get you started. All right. So I've got earrings that are gorgeous. I'm just saying they're gorgeous. I can say that because I made them. <laughs> you don't have to feel the same way about them, but gosh, they're pretty. They're so pretty. So these are check glass earrings. I'm going to show you the three different ones and then we're going to put one pair together. So they are all three the same but different. So these are, gosh, I can't get over the screen on this new iPad. It looks so good. These are check glass B beads. These guys right here, they're so stinking pretty. And it's kind of coppery, but also kind of rose gold as the accent. That's what's running through the B here. And then that's what all of your metals are. And you've got a little bicone here. There is a beautiful check glass druck bead here. And then this beautiful kind of blue with that AB finish glass bead. They're so pretty, so, so pretty. And a different metal color than what we normally put together. So there is the blue in the shop. Okay, if you like the blue, those are in the shop. I also have the yellow and black and white, and these are us. They're all three awesome, but these are really, really cool. Uh, this yellow color is not like a Crayola yellow. It's more of like a, I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like a dandelion yellow. It's a little bit easier to wear because uh, I know some people struggle with yellow but this yellow is a little bit easier for a lot of different skin tones. You can see even up against a pink skin like mine, it still works. And you've got your little yellow bicone, some vintage check glass, and then these gorgeous lamp work beads. And your findings for this one are the hematite color, which is so pretty. I love them, love them. And then last but not least, this is actually my favorite my favorite colorway is another yellow, but it's like a honey color. I, I don't know. I'm obsessed with it. It's this beautiful honey color. There are lamp work beads included and then these melon beads that just have an extra little pop of like blue green to them. I thought it was a fun little addition to have that extra pop of color to that honey color. These are definitely on the top of my list. And again, it's that kind of copper, but also kind of rose gold. It's kind of an in-between there. So um, as far as the metal is concerned. Now we're gonna put one of these together. They're super, super easy to put together. Um, there's nothing, nothing hard here. We're just gonna stack some beads up, but I do wanna show you just to say that we did do them together. <laughs> So let me slide this out of the way here. Working in a pretty small space here. I feel like I need to lift you guys up just a little bit so I can get my hands underneath here. New iPad is a little heavy. This tripod's having, it's having a moment with it. Okay. So let me grab my tools and we'll put these together real quick. Where are my round nose pliers? I have just lost everything today. Okay, so first and foremost, we're going to take a head pin here and we're going to drop our check glass B bead. Is that not pretty? I don't know why I'm so obsessed with this, this mix, but I love it so much, so, so much. So we're going to put this guy onto a decorative head pin. Okay, and then we're just going to do a wrapped loop on the top here. So 
round those pliers up and over, rotate, take the wire over to the other side, and then we're gonna wire wrap in that space. And I've got plenty of space, so I think I can get four wraps in here. This little head pin is a 24 gauge, so it's pretty tiny. She gives me an opportunity to get more wraps in there. So there's that. I'm going to find my cutter. I know what happened to all my tools. I cleaned up yesterday. I cleaned up the room and now I can't find anything. <laughs> I know that you feel my pain. <laughs> I do much better when I have mess, right? Everything is easier to find when there's a mess. All right, so I'm just gonna take an eye pin here. I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna go ahead and thread it onto the top and close that back, okay? And I'm gonna thread on one of these beautiful little faceted glass beads. Look how pretty that is, and it has that AB finish to it too. I don't know, I'm just feeling the, I'm, I'm having a hard time like letting go of these. Like I, maybe I need to take one out of the shop and keep them. <laughs> As I'm obsessed with these. They're so pretty. All right, a little spacer bead. We're going to drop down one of the lamp work beads, which are gorgeous. Another little spacer here. One of these awesome melon beads. Look at that bead. It's like, it's like green, blue, orangey, yellow. And then it also has that copper that is going through the little melon indentions. It's just so cool. So cool. So really fun beads. We can thank Kathleen for those. She found those. All right, so grabbing the wire, I'm gonna do another wrapped loop. I've got a short little um, bit of wire here, so it might be a little bit of a challenge to get our wraps, but we can make it work. I'll show you. See how I just have a, a really short amount of wire left to do the wraps? Just takes a little extra, little extra patience and definitely want to use your tools to get that last wrap. There you go, All right? So those are easy to put together. They're just a stack, but that's not why I love them. I mean, I do love them because they're easy, but I love them because this is a perfect representation of instant gratification jewelry, um, you know, and it goes to show, just like I say all the time, that beautiful jewelry does not have to be complicated. There is nothing complicated about that, but that color palette is amazing, like super beautiful. So here are the three different... B options as far as the earrings that are in the shop. And, and if I had to guess, I would say these are going to sell out pretty quickly. So if you, um, if you are even thinking about these, I'd probably grab them now because they won't last all day. I only had a handful of these because the B beads are a little pricey. So I, you know, I don't, I didn't have a lot of them. So there's not a whole lot of kits. There's definitely more of the blue than any of the others. Okay. All right, so those are our beautiful earrings. I'll try these on for you when we get to the end, but let's move on. Since we're doing simple, let's keep going with the simplicity here. I'm gonna show you another something simple. In fact, I'm not even gonna put this one together. I'm just gonna show it to you because it's that simple, but it is in the shop. So I'm feeling the copper love right now. So these are in the shop. Super easy to put together. Lower you down just a little bit to brighten things up some. They have the beautiful crystal moons, okay? And you've got your jump rings. Everything here is included. You've got a moon charm, a little blue Swarovski bicone to go with it, and then a star, and then, of course, just a piece of chain. Now, I realize, super, super simple, but... You know, sometimes that's all you want. You don't wanna buy something that's super duper complicated, right? So these are in the shop. I'm not gonna show you how to do it because I feel like it's pretty, um, you know, it's pretty straightforward. You've just got some jump rings and you've got one wrapped loop to put in here. The rest of it is just opening and closing jump rings. So I figure you guys can, can manage that one, right? You don't need me to walk you through it, but so pretty. Just so pretty, you know, instant gratification. That's just the way we're doing today. <laughs> 
So there's that one. All right, I'm gonna sit this to the side. I'll show it to you on the bust. Now, another simple one. Remember, I've got two, I've got two necklaces left, okay? So <clears throat> let's see. Let's go with the one that's just a little bit, a little bit more involved, and we'll save the extra simple one. So this is the one where I've done this same design several times, but it's always a little bit different. Okay, so you've got your faux suede lace. This is one side of it. We're gonna build the other side, okay? Faux suede lace. You've got copper, again, with the copper. Copper loop, sesame jasper, okay? And then this beautiful kind of, I don't even know what color you would call that. It's kind of copper. Glass pearls running through there, okay? So we're gonna build that up. And then what we're gonna hang in the center of this is we've got a beautiful copper ring. We have a focal. We're gonna hang that from the bottom. And then last but not least, we're gonna finish that off with a gorgeous Swarovski crystal in golden shadow. So we're gonna put that down at the bottom, okay? So this is where the necklace is going. We're gonna build the other side right here. <coughs> and put it all together. So let's do that. And again, just really, really simple. We, we're not doing anything super complicated here. We are just doing simple loops. So we've got head pins, okay, and jump rings. And that's all there is to it. Some of them are already done. We're gonna do these two, and then we'll put all of this together. We also need to wire wrap our, um, our Swarovski crystal. Let me dump out my supplies here, okay? So let's start with our Swarovski crystal, shall we? Since it goes on the bottom of our focal, we'll do it first. So we're gonna take a head pin and we're gonna thread on our Swarovski bead. You might wanna polish them up. They do get fingerprints on them when you're looking at them up close like that. I'm always like, oh, wipe those off. <laughs> Wipe that off of there. All right, so we're just gonna do a wrapped loop here and we're actually gonna wire wrap this. Actually, I'm not gonna wire wrap this. Now that I think about it, I'm just gonna do a simple loop. So instead of bending over the pliers, we're just gonna bend, let's keep this just as simple as possible. And you can do a wrapped loop if you want to, but let's just keep it easy. And we're gonna do just a simple loop, trim off your wire. I like to leave about a fourth of an inch of wire to make my loop with, okay? I'm gonna come in with my round nose pliers and roll back, okay, to create my loop. Now, I need to open my loop to attach it to my focal, so don't don't do don't do those all in one step, okay? Make sure you do the the loop first and then open it to attach it. So when you open it, you want to hold it side to side like a jump ring and you want to twist it open, okay? Don't pull it apart. And we're going to take our focal here and we're just going to hook that and then we're going to close it back the same way, just kind of twisting it back closed. Okay, now again, you can do a wrapped loop there if you want to, but I feel like it's just as easy to do a simple loop. Somebody was mentioning my bracelets. You like my bracelets? They're just stretchy. My friend Kathy made these for me. I love them. She had some and I was like, oh, I want those so bad. So she made me some too. I love them. All right, so that's gonna go here on our, our large ring. So I'm gonna take a jump ring. I'm gonna twist that open, thread that to the top. Look how pretty that is. Those would make beautiful earrings, right? Just by themselves. Like if you've got more of these crystals, you could just make some matching earrings to go with this necklace, it would be awesome. So I'm gonna thread that on to the decorative ring and I'm gonna close that back. 
and that is our focal. When I was making this, I had added all kinds of other things dripping from this ring, and then I thought, you know what? It's just too much. I feel like this focal deserves it, it you know, it deserves to just stand on its own because it's so darn pretty. Now, if you want to add your own extra dangles to this, you absolutely can, but I got to tell you, it if you add too much, it just takes away from that gorgeous that gorgeous floral centerpiece. It's just so pretty. Okay, so we're going to build up our our little beaded chain piece here. And we're again, we're just going to do simple simple loops. So, some of these are already done. We've got two. I'm going to thread these on to eye pins. I love this bead. These are sesame jasper and they're so sassy. That blue color and then it has like the spots on it. Mm, I love them. Love them, love them. Okay, grab that wire, I'm gonna bend. I'm gonna come in with my cutter tool, trim off, leave yourself about a fourth of an inch. Okay, and then we're gonna take our round nose pliers and we're gonna roll back towards the bead to close our loop. Wow, that was a good loop. <laughs> I'm impressing myself today, that was a good loop. <laughs> I don't normally uh, get such good loops. You guys know my simple loops are never great. All right, so now I'm gonna take one of these beautiful glass pearls and bend the wire again. I'm gonna come in and trim. Now, if you don't measure, I like to, to kind of eyeball it. I put my finger between the bead and the cutter tool and that usually gives me just enough to get the right amount of wire that I need. Does that make sense? See how I'm just using my finger as my measuring tool there? I don't know if that'll work for you, but that's usually how I kind of decide how much wire to cut off, okay? And then I'm gonna roll back to make another loop, okay? All right, now everything else is really just kind of opening and closing jump rings. We're just going to attach everything together, We're gonna make ourselves a little chain. So I'm gonna open a jump ring and attach it here, thread on one of the pearls. I'll go ahead and close that back. And take another jump ring, open. And put one of our sesame jasper beads. And another. So we're just making a little chain. Okay. So we've done all of that to create our little chain. It doesn't take a lot of beads to make a beaded chain like this, particularly if you're gonna use jump rings in between there, it really kind of lengthens everything out so you don't have to use up all of your favorite gemstone beads. And now we're going to attach these to our focal here. So I'm gonna slide a jump ring on and thread on the end of my chain on one side. I'm gonna do the same thing over here on the other side. This one already has a jump ring because this one was already ready for us. Thread that on, close that back, okay? So we've got, got that so far. So far, so good, right? Now up here, we want to attach, this is where we're attached to a larger ring, a copper ring. So we are going to use another jump ring to attach that. And then we're gonna use a piece of faux suede lace. And I'm using this pretty brown color, but you really could use any color you wanted to for this. So I've got two pieces of this are in the kits. You just wanna take your pieces and fold them in half, okay? And that'll give you one side, unless you want a really, really long, necklace. So I'm going to find the middle and I'm going to take that loop that I've just where I've just pinched everything together. I haven't tied any knots. I'm going to stick that through the center of the copper ring 
And then I'm gonna take my ends and pull those through to make ourselves a lark's head knot. And I just want to cinch that down. Now, if you want to, you can come to the back of this and add a little bit of glue and that will hold your knot in place so that it won't ever slip open or come undone, okay? Now, I'm not gonna show you, or I'm not gonna attach the ends because this will be taken apart and put into a kit for the shop, right? Um, I, I very often sell the ones that I, I make on the live, so it'll get put together and then taken apart. But I do want to show you because everybody always asks about the ends when it comes to the suede lace or cording. So included in your kit are the cord ends. And I'm not going to actually do this, but I am going to show you how to use these. So the cord ends are fold over cord ends. You just want to take your two ends and put them inside like that. Fold this piece down. Okay, and then you're going to use your pliers to close both pieces, the little flaps on either side, and then you attach your jump rings and your clasp to this. Now, I'm not going to do it because it won't come undone and, you know, that's no good. But I just want you to know that's how you're going to finish it off. Okay, so you get your cord ends and your clasp and the whole bit. So that's how those work. And you don't have to add glue to these if you don't want to, but you can add a little drop of glue in there before you place your cords inside there. Okay, so this is our necklace. I think it's really, really beautiful. Again, this is a style that we do time and time again because it's one of my favorites. It uses minimal gemstones, but you still get the pop of the beautiful color of your favorite gemstones. You get all of the metal and then a focal in the center. It's a great design, it never goes out of style, it's a very classy, so I'm sure this will not be the last time you see this exact design in kit form in my shop, but they always tend to be a little bit different. They're never the same color palettes. This is the first one that we've done in copper in a while, so I uh, hope that you really, really like this color palette. It's gonna make it, it's gonna last you. This color is gonna take you all through summer into the fall because of that gorgeous copper. So I really thought it was beautiful. And the addition of this uh, crystal, I, it just kind of takes it to a really lovely place. All right, so there's that one. And I'll show you what it looks like on the bust. Now we have one more necklace to show. And this one is super, super easy as well. Uh, a lot of this has already been done. It's just a Y necklace. Okay, so it's two pieces of chain. You get your end findings and everything and pearls. Okay, so I already did all of the wire wrapping here, but I just want to I just want to point it out for those of you who are going to get this kit and wonder how to put this together, okay? So it's just like the previous necklace that we did. Your glass pearls, you're going to thread those on to eye pins, and you're just going to create simple loops, right? You're going to attach those to the ends of your two pieces of chain. And actually, I think you get a single piece of chain, and you have to cut it in half, actually. So you might want to make a note of that. But then we just link those together with jump rings, now you can leave out the jump rings if you want to, but it does shorten this little section up a little bit. So take that into consideration. So that's on either side. This is a Y style necklace, okay? So we're just gonna build our focal here for the center. And our focal is one of these gorgeous crystals that has the two, there's the two holes, a beautiful bead that has this belt of AB metallic running through it. So that's going to go on the top, okay? That kind of ties this color in here. Now, I don't know if you can tell or not on the um, on the screen, but there is a lot of pink going on. This is a pink and green kind of pendant, and that's why I've brought the pink up into the necklace here. And next is a little check glass star. I'm feeling the moons and stars right now. I don't really know why. A star goes next, and then a awesome moon charm is the bottom. So it's a Y necklace, simple as simple as you can get it. We're just going to use some jump rings and eye pins to put this together, and we'll do that right now. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to 
do a wrapped loop on the top of this guy. So I put it on a on an eye pin. I'm gonna come up here with my chain nose pliers, bend the wire. Albert, stop chewing on your feet. <laughs> He's so neurotic. Up and over. <laughs> Rotate my pliers and take the wire over to the other side. Now, if you don't want to do wrapped loops here, you don't have to. You can do simple loops if that's easier. Okay, I'm going to come in with my cutter tool. I'm going to trim that off. Okay, so that'll go right there. We'll put all this together here in just a second. And I'm gonna do my star. Now, before I actually do the star, I am gonna go ahead and attach it to the moon. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the eye pin here and thread on the moon and then go ahead and close that back. It's just easier for me to attach the charm first before I thread on and, and do a wrapped loop. I, it, you can open and close that eye pin after you've done your wire wrapping, but sometimes it messes up the loop. So that's why I do it this way. Okay. But that's just me. You do whatever works for you. Okay. Alrighty. Let's see here. Hold on. I'm going to figure out just like that. Everybody in the comments talking about how long they've been married. Oh, man, this is not a conversation for me to be a part of. <laughs> Y'all know I'm trying to get rid of my husband, right? <laughs> uh, don't recommend. Though I will give him away if anybody's interested. But I promise you'll bring him back because, oh, Lord. We'll have been married 21 years this June. And I'm really, really hoping that the divorce is final by then. I don't think it's going to be, but how amazing would that be? Yes, we got divorced on the same day we got married. Gosh, that'd be awesome. What a celebration. Okay, I'm going to just stop talking. <laughs> don't recommend, don't recommend. At least not mine. I know there are good ones out there. I'm not completely jaded, but you don't want mine, trust me. So... All right, there's our star on the top of our moon. I can laugh about, I have to be able to laugh about it, you guys. If I don't, then I just cry about it. So it's better that I make jokes and, you know, and laugh about what an awful, horrible human being he is. Otherwise, it just, it's just so heartbreaking that I made such a stupid choice. Anyway, <laughs> we all do though, right? We all do. Maybe not in marriage, but we all make dumb choices. Oh, and it takes real commitment to stick to your dumb choice for 21 years. <laughs> okay, I have to stop. I have to stop. So there is our bottom piece. Okay, and now I'm just going to attach everything with these jump rings. Now, I included these larger jump rings because you do have to clear the edge. See how there's a lot of a lot of room there? I know my babies were, that was, you know... I wouldn't have them without the 21 year marriage. So it's not all bad, not all bad. He is all bad, they are not. They are my greatest accomplishment and I wouldn't trade that for anything. So you are so right. Okay, so the larger jump rings here, and I'm usually not a fan of big jump rings, but they were necessary in this design just because of the way that the little crystal is shaped. So opening that up and drop that on in there. And it just occurred to me that I need to rotate one of my loops because I'm gonna attach everything in the center here with one singular jump ring. And I can't have, if I want my jump ring to lay flat, I can't have my wrapped loop facing that direction. Do you see what I mean? So, my loops are both facing the same way. What I need is for this top loop to be facing side to side and this one to continue facing towards me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in with my pliers and I'm going to hold both loops and just give a twist to one of them. 
And that's all you have to do. Don't feel like you have to remake it or anything like that. All you gotta do is just twist it with your pliers. Okay, now we're just gonna attach this with another jump ring. Now you could use a, a, a you know, a textured ring here if you wanted to, something a little different. Um, but I feel like it doesn't really need it because we've got a lot going on in the Y part of our necklace. And then I'm just gonna attach both ends of our little beaded chain, which is attached to our other chain. I like Y necklaces. We haven't made a lot of these in a while and the style is so classic and you really can just put together whatever you, you know, whatever goes well together to make a beautiful Y. It doesn't have to be anything crazy, you know, it doesn't have to be full of all kinds of things. Just pick out some of your favorite colors to put together just a pop of color through here and make your Y, you know, the stick part of your Y, something, you know, that you love. Add a bead that you love, a big, beautiful, if you've got a single bead, right? And we all have those, like a whole stash of just single beads where you can't, you can't make earrings out of them. A Y necklace is a great place to put those individual beads that you've got and then just kind of build around it. That's what I did. I started with this beautiful crystal and then just kind of built out around it. And it makes just a really lovely necklace that's not out of control. And you can also layer it with shorter necklaces, which is another reason why I really love the Y necklaces. Plus, it kind of draws your eye down, my darlings for those of you who are not married and maybe are looking, it kind of brings the eye down into your décolletage, if you will, right? It's kind of flirty. It really is. It takes the eye down. That's that's what the Y necklaces are all about. It's like high heels for your neck and chest, right? <laughs> all right, guys, I'm going to turn you around. This has been an interesting, an interesting show today. <laughs> And I'm going to show you all of these on the bust so that you can see what they look like. Let's start with the one that we just made so that you can, you can see just how it's simple, but it's beautiful, right? We don't have to be crazy over the top all the time, which is difficult for me. It's hard for me to not make things just out there over the top and wild and crazy and fun. But simple is good. Simple can be good. A Y necklace doesn't have to be crazy, particularly if you are drawing the eye down. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just <laughs> they get to the bottom of the necklace, they're not looking at the necklace anymore. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> oh, so really pretty. And you can see that flash of pink that's in this in this really pretty crystal that we've got. So it makes sense that those pink glass pearls are in there. What are y'all saying about me? Sarah's feeling good on a Friday. I am feeling good on a Friday. I'm looking forward to wearing a, a Y necklace out in public. <laughs> that's the G-rated version. <laughs> looking forward to wearing my Y necklaces out into the world, okay? Let a girl have some fun. <laughs> All right, this is our, <laughs> this is our next, <laughs> next necklace. Now, hold on a second. I want to make sure I've got this one up here on the neck, the right direction. So pretty. You can't, whoa, you can't go wrong with copper. You just can't. Copper is just always gorgeous. So there's our our necklace with the suede lace, right? So pretty, so pretty. And again, not crazy over the top. You can add more dangles to this section if you want to, but it really doesn't need it. You know, I feel like this is just beautiful all on its own and would make beautiful earrings to match it. Or just anything in this color would be a beautiful earring set to go with this. So super pretty. One more necklace and then I'm gonna show you guys the earrings. Now this is the one that we didn't put together uh, just because it's so simple, it doesn't really need any explanation. I feel like you can definitely tell from the pictures how to put this one together. But again, simple and just beautiful, right? You don't have to add a ton. Not everything has to be busy. I'm really talking to myself more than you guys because I know you guys get that. I'm the one who has a little trouble like not adding obscene amounts of dangles to things. <laughs> so yeah, 
super pretty, but really, really easy. Lorena says she sees joy in me. Thank you. Oh my gosh, that was powerful. Thank you. <laughs> you gave me chill bumps, Lorena. I do have joy in me today. I do have joy. I don't know why. I don't know why, but I do. It's okay. I don't know. Maybe it's the haircut. <laughs> Maybe it's just because it's Friday and I get to see my niece and I'm just so, I'm so excited to get to be able to spend some time with her. So, okay. So last but not least, we're going to look at the earrings. Now, remember these come in three different colors. I'm going to show you the blue ones first, right? So here's the gorgeous blue. Albert, don't push on me. He wants my attention. He wants me to pet him right now. There's the blue. So pretty. That copper is just, oh yeah, it's giving me life right now. <laughs> and then next are the yellow with the black and the white, which I think is a great combination. If you ever struggle with yellow, it always goes with black and white. So if you have a hard time designing with yellow, Black and white's a classic, right? And yellow, you don't have to add anything else to it. Black and white's the way to go. Super cute. I love those two. And I don't do a lot of yellow, but that mustardy kind of color, that's easy to wear. That's easy to wear, no matter what your skin tone is. And then last but not least, these are my favorite. It's this really interesting honey color with that pop of green blue. John, are you talking about me? <laughs> How fun are those? I love, they're a little bit more understated than the other two. Like you kind of have to be looking to see, but I don't know, there's just something about that. I'm really, I'm really feeling this pair right here. So, so pretty. So there's a, you know, there's a bee earring for every mood. If you're feeling sassy, I would go with the yellow and the black and white. The blue is a little bit softer for that softer personality. And then there's this one that just, I don't know why I love it so much. It's just such an unexpected pairing of colors, I think. It's just pretty cool, so. <laughs> Guys, I'm not going anywhere in my birthday suit. I can tell you that right now. I've had a hard enough time buying a bathing suit. Let me tell you. <laughs> Since y'all are talking about me going out in my birthday suit and my Y necklace, which will never happen. <laughs> I have I have been through 10, 10 bathing suits, 10 bathing suits, and I still haven't found the right one. I just keep sending them back. Thank goodness for Amazon Prime and like Prime Wardrobe so you can keep sending things back. I hate bathing suits. I just hate them. I hate them. <laughs> and I've got I have to settle on one before next week because I'm taking to the I'm taking the kids swimming. So that's the only reason that I am even stressing about it. But anyway, yeah, I know you just totally don't care. But I know there are women out there who feel me right now. Buying a bathing suit is like it's like going to the dentist. It's not fun. <laughs> All right, my dears. Let's see. I'm looking back here. The length of the Y necklace. So um, it really does, the, the answer that you got was really good. It does come to personal preference because a lot of times it just depends on where you want that Y to fall. I do like to have a Y necklace that's a little bit shorter so that everything is right in here that is the accent of whatever my chain or cord is and that it comes down, but it doesn't go down between the girls. You know what I'm saying? Because then things just get hidden. If you have a, if you've got a big shelf, <laughs> Um, but I will tell you how long this one is. I believe that the chain, I think it makes it a 20 inch necklace. Hold on. 10, 11. Let's see. So if I could do math on the fly, I could tell you 11. It's a 22 inch so 22 inches is how much chain is in the kit. Now you can shorten that up, obviously. And it's actually just one big long piece of chain, so you have to cut it in half. But then you can cut it up if you want to and make it shorter. Um, but it's gonna make about a 22 inch necklace without any adjustments to it. So, so there you go. 
right, my friends, it has been a fun Feel Good Friday. I'm feeling good. I hope you're feeling good. I hope you're looking forward to the weekend. Like I said, tomorrow is going to be a busy day for me. So if you want to spend your Saturday with me, come sign up for the Michaels class. We're making, let me show you the earrings because I have them right here. We're going to be making these beautiful little, they're called Champagne Dream earrings. And they certainly are fun. So we're making these earrings for our Michaels class tomorrow. That's at 2 p.m. Eastern time. Okay. If you want to join for that, they're super easy to put together. I think you'll really, really enjoy it. And then you can catch me at 6 p.m. with Sam over on Sam's Bead Shop tomorrow. Um, we're going to be making a pair of earrings that we actually made together here not too long ago, but Sam liked them so much, he asked me if I would make them again. So that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, I think he's got a picture of them that is up on his Facebook page, so you can go check that out. Um, and that's it. That's it. I actually will be seeing the Hardwired group later this afternoon at 4 p.m. Um, and that leads me to one last thing before everybody goes for the day. If you, um, if you want to join the Hardwired group, the open registration for that is happening. I can't, I don't know if Kathy said she's opening today. I don't remember, but the opening to get into the hardwired group, because I open up monthly to allow new members to come and join, you want to send a request to join the group, and then Kathy will send you your um, invoice. Well, actually, she'll ask you for your PayPal, but then she'll send you an invoice and you'll get right in to the group. So if you want to be part of the hardwired paid group, now is the time to go ahead and get joined up for that. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, that's going to happen while I'm away. So here's the thing. I won't be here for lives next week, but I will be checking in on social media. So if you need me for anything, you can still access me, of course. And I'll be posting things like reminders for signing up for the hardwired group and things like that. So you won't miss any of the important information. I'm not just going to ghost you guys. I promise. I can't stay away from you that long anyway. So yeah, that's how... That's how that goes. Kathy says, answer all the questions. Be sure that when you go to sign up for the hardwired group that you answer all the questions. If you don't, you get declined. So take your time, read all the questions. It's super important, okay? So that all of your information is already ready and we don't have to hunt you down. <laughs> all right, have a wonderful rest of your Friday afternoon. Some of you I'll be seeing at 4 p.m. The rest of you, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow during the two opportunities that you have to spend with me. If not, and if I don't see you again, enjoy next week and I will be back with you guys soon enough. You won't even miss me, all right? I will miss you though. So have a great afternoon, guys. Bye, guys.